Ow. God, is my dishwasher loud. Yo, I'm gonna play some video games and then I'm gonna go back to writing. I hope, I will. I will, I'll do it, I'm not gonna slack off. Oh, I've already done the daily challenge. Man. Sunday chat. I think that's today. Got the first half of my grant due this Friday, so I'm running out of days to dawdle. But I'm gonna make it take as much time as I possibly can. Like everything I've ever worked on. Every deadline is a last minute deadline. I think there's a dog over there. Oh, there it is. Uh, I can throw stuff up. I think that'll hit it. Yeah, I should beat Spelunky and then put that on my grant application. Alongside the one credit Ghouls and Ghosts clear. You know, it shows real stick to that people need in scientists. Oops. That's what they should have had in Undertale. Instead of just saying, like, so-and-so fills you with determination, it should be... stick to itiveness instead. You were filled with stick to itiveness. though. Shows exemplary personal growth. Thank you. Hello. Welcome to I just ate a whole box of Triscuits and most of a container of hummus and now need to digest that before I get back to work the stream. over there? Probably not. Oh, 
Whenever I've got to get a lot of work done, I just end up brewing a whole bunch of tea and eating a whole bunch of Triscuits and hummus instead of actual food. It also helps that Triscuits always seem to be perpetually on sale. You can get like a big box for two bucks, which in like 2024 seems like a halfway decent deal for snacks. In a world where Doritos are like seven dollars for a bag. Why did that explode? Hello. Wheat thins are worse than Triscuits. Wheat thins are like weirdly sweetened for some reason. Right? Like, I'm not misremembering. Oh god, I have 26 bombs. Time to be irresponsible. They are! No, they do! Oh, god damn it! Now I'm just taking hits from everything, because I'm distracted by wheat thins. They totally do have sugar. Triscuits don't. Oh, if I take that, it's gonna totally aggro the shopkeeper, isn't it? Hey, Siri. Is there sugar in wheat thins? Ha! 16 crackers or 31 grams, of which 80% is added sugar. See? This is from healthline.com. You might as well be drinking a Pepsi. Also, I'm gonna close this door even more. It's not slander, it's true. I don't know what rewards are. If they're enabled, I didn't do anything for it. You'd eat a Pepsi wheat thin. God, I got this advertisement. There's like this merchant on DoorDash. What is it called? It's called, I took a screenshot of it. Milked Exotic Snacks. Which I'm still trying to figure out what that means. Like, why are they milked? And the thumbnail image is just a picture of, like, M&Ms and Doritos. Would you have, like... Dorito milk? Dorito milk latte? Maybe. Oh, I can jump up here and then stick the bomb to it. Oh man, that's great. Hey, popcorn. Oh, the climbing glove and the sticky bombs is a really dumb combination. If you could find a way to subscribe to this channel, good luck. I wouldn't get any of the money though, so you shouldn't do it. Don't give this hell site any more of your cash. Sorry, they're all hell sites. It was only ever good when it was Justin.tv.
in the day. Oh god, I forgot about the four-player podcast. What was that one channel that always had, like, the gameplay footage and the people talking over it on a couch? And I think the gameplay footage was, like, superimposed over them on the couch at, like, an angle, partially 3D, and they were always in real cheap costumes. What was that channel? Was that four-player podcast, or was that... something else? Like, every now and then I'll see screenshots of those old streams, and I don't know... who they were. It was like... Not like the game winners or something. I don't know. I'd know it if I saw the name. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll just go up here. Uh, this is kind of a stupid way to do this, but I'm afraid of getting hit, and also of my personal responsibilities. Oh crap! Okay, we're good. What was that channel called? God, do you remember back when the PS4 came out, and people were streaming on Twitch on it? With, um... Oh, what was it? The Playroom? And there's that one guy, it's like the Spartan Show, who I think was the first dude to treat it like some sort of talk show streaming platform. And he got, like, a few thousand views at some point, and then immediately dropped off. Not like it was an especially memorable channel, but it's something that I remember. And therefore I assume everyone else remembers it too. Probably do this and then a round of video game awesome. Yeah, I think so Maybe Anyway, I'd believe you if you said that's the official name of the channel That sounds Like a name you would call your channel in like 2008 Oh shit No, 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 no. Oh, no. Don't do that. I'm too lazy to use the altar. I don't need the monkey that poops out gold.
Oh boy, time to fall off the map. Oh, there are shops here. Do I need more than 24 bombs? Probably. Uh... Hmm... Uh... Oh! Forgot about that. I'm real bad at these ice levels. Never seem to get here frequently enough to get good at the design. Or like, what all the level gimmicks are. Although I guess that went okay. Oh, look at the penguin! And the little noise he makes! Uh, okay. I think I can just kind of keep lowering myself down. With the climbing gloves. What? I didn't... Ugh, God. Okay, well, how was I supposed to know that? There's a shop right underneath. Where'd all the items go? Oh, whatever. Uh... Oh, what is that? Can I walk in this? Oh, I can. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's gonna be a shopkeeper there, though, isn't there? do about that. Uh... I mean, if I land on that, I think it's going to kill me. Like, that was a bad idea. Or was it? Wait. Yes, it was. Okay, what if we just... Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, do I have 35? Or is he asking for- oh, oh, three bombs. I can't read. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, is this the fourth level? Oh, I didn't even notice that! I was looking at the box! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, man. I'm so bad at video games. Well... It was progress. Can I pick up the Tunnel Man? Oh, I can. Great. Oh, 
I want to get him in that little crevice. No. No. Yay. God, the music is so good. Uh, where is Puyo? I'm gonna do that until I lose. And then get back to writing. How many levels are in Spelunky? Is it five? Oh wait, I have the online working now. I could see if anyone wants to do online play. I bet they don't. I don't know if this still works. I bet the DLC shop has nothing in it. It's probably region locked or something. I don't even care. It doesn't matter. Yeah, surely there's one dude who's trying to play Puyo Tetris on the Vita. Oh my god! <laughs> there is! <laughs> That's incredible! It's crazy that I didn't have to wait. And now I'm gonna get slaughtered because I'm garbage at this. Oh boy. Oh, this feels so bad to control. Oh, it's so laggy. At least this guy's not good at Tetris. Haha. <laughs> Take that. I can't believe the online for this still works. The best news. That's fine, I don't care. In fact, I want you to do that. Don't care, that's fine. Just don't do it again. Okay, well, I'm not thrilled about that. But it's fine. Uh, oh, that's gonna need that, and then I need another purple for it, don't I? Something like that. Yay. The only other player of Puyo Tetris on the Vita and I've killed him. Yeah, I'm the best player in the world. Okay. 
That might have been the only guy, though. God, how nuts is it that you can just immediately log into this and find somebody playing it? Someone who's not me. There's one little server in the Sega janitorial department and just churns away all the Vita matchmaking. Some random dude notices an increase in the electrical bill all of a sudden, and it's just from these single Vita Puyo Tetris games. It's all me. Oh, I did not mean to cancel. Although, that might have been the only other person on here. Oh, he's back! <laughs> I feel like I should pick Tetris so I could lose. But also... I only know how to play Puyo. <laughs> The best international strolling for America since we won the Olympics. They should have Puyo at the Olympics. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do this. Don't do that. Drop that. Okay, now we kill this guy. No, no, I messed it up! Maybe gone horribly wrong now. Oh, the stack looks so bad. Yeah, I'm single-handedly actually funding the Vita servers staying up for this. My uncle who works at Sega. Stop doing that! sequel to this game like? I never played Puyo Tetris 2. Because it's not on the Vita. No, this is me versus a dude! Oh, I can't see what color that is. It's like some random dude in Japan, I guess. Or maybe he imported the game and just set his region to Japan, because I don't think you could pick a region outside of Japan in that version of the game. Okay, drop some stuff on me. 
No, not like that. Oh, these are all the worst pieces. Okay. Okay. You gotta stop doing that. What you're doing to me is not cool. Oh, that might have been a bad idea. Okay, that's fine, actually. And that there, that there, that there. No, 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 yes, no, yes. No, wait, that's not the right color. Oh no, it's all ruined. All of it. Oh no. I've single-handedly ruined America's stellar reputation at Puyo Puyo. That's why we're not getting invited back to the Puyo Olympics. Okay, get this chunk out of here. And maybe... oh, that was a bad idea. Okay. That's fine. I just did it to throw him off. It's part of the psychological warfare element of this game. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He's dead. He's not dead because that blue tripped! Oh no! We gotta clear that out. No. No. Yes. chance and we'll keep trying. Hey look, if that keeps somebody on the network. You know, that's also a valid strategy. Give the guy false hope and then just farm points off of him. any of this stuff work? Like, is there just a PlayStation network that hosts all of the servers for all the Vita games, or is Sega specifically responsible for keeping the online play for this on, or like... <laughs> sure, I'll just play this dude again. Upon. I don't know. I haven't played it in a while. I wonder if this guy is actually Japanese or if he just imported it. 
I feel like if he were Japanese, I would be losing a lot more. But he's also not playing Puyo, so who's to say? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. This. This. Sure. 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 No. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Now we will kill him. Bayonara. <laughs> Just the constant screaming from the other side is so good. And like, what do you even do about that if you're playing the Tetris side? Like, you just lose. Okay, don't do that. Do we go for purples? No, let's go for blues. There are more of them. That's fine. Cover it up. Doesn't matter. Get him! Ruin this man's day. <laughs> God. What a good game. I've never felt so powerful. I'm gonna continue curb stomping this dude. The only other dude online. I think Tetris is more overpowered than Puyo because you can pop the chains off faster because you can, like, insta-drop them versus in Puyo you can't. So if you're really good at Tetris, you will be better than someone who's really good at Puyo. But if you're just kind of mediocre at Tetris, you will get crushed every time. Maybe they've changed the balance in other versions of the game, because this is the Vita release from, like, 2013? Or something? It was a number of years when they had this game initially come out, and they put it out on the Switch and everything, and I think they did some balancing. Do you think he's coming back? So, oh, Puyo versus. We should do that again. Oh boy, he's back! <laughs> oh, I gotta get him so he could be demoted. Let's 
けないからね<laughs> We should get a bunch of people on Puyo Versus, though. It's a really beautiful chaos when there are like 10 people all just getting dumped on at once. Oh, it already does not sound very good on his end. Put more stuff on me, thank you. Uh, no, we can't do purples. Purple's already taken. We need... Uh, we can work with greens. That's bad. Potentially. Okay, no, it's... well... Oh, it is bad. Oh, it's like... Oh, no. Oh no! I have to demote this man! Okay, hang on. I sort of have to focus. Okay, that's fine. I'm not mad about that. Just bring your garbage over on this side, please. Oh, that's a lot of garbage! Okay. 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 It looks bad. It's not. But I'm not happy about it. Take that! Oh, he's still got a lot of space, though. Okay... Uh, 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 uh... What do I do? It's not really a chain. Okay. That. Is that enough? I don't think it is. Gotta build up a whole other chain. That's fine. That's not good. Oh no. What if he wins? I need this and this. Okay, no. We're good. It's not like the best chain, but at least we're not currently losing. And now we're actively winning. Take that! Take my beans! Ah! Okay, now we really have to kill him. No half measures, this man has to be dead. It's a really bad chain so far, though. Okay, that's fine. Okay, green. Green. Oh, that was a bad idea.
Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> like, I just stacked all this stuff to the top before losing. Haha. -ha. Send that man down a level. Hope he comes back. I do like winning. Oh, it's got little cursors, I forgot. Forgot the PS4 controller did this. Do a lot of people still play this? No. Literally nobody. Oh, I've got two fingers! Do I have three fingers? No. Now it's a Puyo dating game and you have to rub her head to get Puyo points. It's really disorienting that my right finger is the left hand and vice versa. Oh, there it is. It's based on which finger you touch first. But I can't really get the cursors too close to each other because of just the physical size limitations of having thumbs made out of meat. Anyway, I wanted to do single player, and then I wanted to go back to writing. Oh, is that not a touch button? Oh, I can't tap it! Every time I tap it, it moves it up! Oh, there it is. Oops. Nope. Yeah, my graph that's all Puyo. Well, I'm bad at everything else, as you see when I pick Swap. What are those symbols above Draco's name? Like the Braille plus Square plus Tetris L block? They're all slightly different. I don't know. The Puyo Fever mode pieces that character has. Oh, okay. Wait! Oh, I was not paying attention. This is not the mode I wanted. That was the mode I wanted. I don't even know how the fever mechanics work in Puyo. Like, I played Puyo Fever, or Puyo Pop Fever on the Dreamcast a few times. It's like a bar that fills up, and then you do it. I forget that this game evolved at all from, like, 1994. No, the characters don't really change anything for most intents and purposes. Other than, like, the animations. I guess for fever mode they might. Also, I'm really bad at Tetris. But I don't respect Tetris as a game enough to worry about getting good at it. They made one good version of Tetris and it's called Tetris Attack.
What am I doing? Oh, this is so irresponsibly stupid. Don't hate on Tetris. I was actually wondering if you were in the chat. Didn't you, like, slaughter me in Tetris repeatedly? I mean, it doesn't matter. Tetris isn't a game that matters. It's not like Puyo. The chess of video games. Wait, why is there that locker? Who did this to me? Can't be the consequences of my own actions. Dream just as I was hating on it. Your Tetris sense going off. This game is so good though. Just so much stuff happening simultaneously. It's great for my smartphone addled brain needs instant gratification. Uh... Oh, I did not mean to put that there. Man, I wish I were just beating that one Japanese guy again repeatedly. Then I felt powerful. Now I just feel like an idiot. Was there an online multiplayer on the Luminous port? Can I flip this in here? Oh, I can. Okay. Crap. I hate Tetris. Battle Royale. Do they have, like, a Puyo 99? Or do they only have a Tetris version of that? Imagine the sound of 99 Puyo boards at once, though. Just all the characters screaming over and over. Nope, okay. I got that in. Let's dancing. Yeah, hey Andy Sweetie 99. so much grant writing to do. Do you ever, like, have a massive looming deadline and you do one small chunk and finish it and then think, well, that was really easy. I don't have to worry about time management for the rest of it. I've apparently got it down. How long could the rest possibly take? Get lulled into that false sense of security about how long anything actually takes to write. That's me right now. Like, oh, it's due Friday. That's an infinite amount of hours from now. Oh, what do I do with this? Certainly not that. Oh, I'm so bad at Tetris. 
Why did they make it so dumb? At least I'm showing my Cold War era patriotism by being really bad at Tetris. Yeah, just get a copy of Puyo Tetris and the Vita and log on. If you dare! I wonder if this game is local multiplayer. They definitely updated a couple of Vita games to do that. Like, uh, Spelunky. This local multiplayer for some reason. For the Vita TV. Which I don't think anybody bought but me. Where they saw that it was like $30 on Amazon and bought it and shoved it in a box. Is there crossplay with Steam? I don't think so. Can't I T-spin? Can I personally T-spin? No. Can one hypothetically T-spin? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I can't be good at everything. Did you play Persona 4 Golden? I have a friend who did the same exact thing. Got a PSTV, memory card, and Persona 4 Golden, and everything. And then it just sat. Never actually got played. And when I brought it up, like, oh, you have a Vita! And Persona 4, did you play it? And she's like, no, I'm just gonna play the Steam version. After all of that. You could be playing Persona 4 in the bathroom. And you've actively chosen not to do that. The Steam Deck exists. See, anything that happened in video games in, say, the last, like, five years didn't, to me. I don't remember anything that happened in that stretch of time. Oh, that was not supposed to happen, but there was a slight delay every time it switches modes. Or switches characters, I mean. And now I've made an oopsie. Oh, why did I switch this in? It's fine, we'll just wait out the timer. How portable is the Steam Deck, anyway? Like, no one seems willing to make... Honestly, like, anything small. Like, phones are getting too big, the Switch is barely portable. The Vita was already kind of pushing it. I just want a thing to put in my pocket. Or, like, really, really big pockets, a la Titus from Final Fantasy X. As opposed to Titus from that TV show, Titus. It's a bit larger than the Switch. Every time I play the Switch portably, it just makes my hands cramp up. And I don't know if that's a me issue, 
or a switch issue or what. But I get like 20 minutes of playing it before I just start going, ow, my hands. Normalized huge ass fanny packs. No. Normalized stuff running on double A batteries again. Give me a cell phone that runs on double A's. Yeah, but where else do you throw the batteries? chat when this is going. Oh, it's not even a chain, really. It's just junk. Has anybody ever used the Switch kickstand? Initial like launch trailers for the Switch had me believe that I would be like playing it on the roof of my house that I can't afford with a bunch of friends. Specifically using the kickstand. Maybe if I had a house I would do more. Oops! Oh god, that T-piece is in such a bad spot. How could this happen to me? I didn't do that. It was done to me. Yeah, the roof of someone else's house. Anybody have a house I could borrow? I gotta play some video games on it. I'm only good at the Puyo side, and honestly, not even that good. The problem is that, like, there are very specific ways you can make chains reliably in this game. I never bothered to learn how to do that. So I just kind of build it a step at a time, and then once it's done, I just have, like, a big pile of the dregs that didn't get popped. I don't know what to do with them. I gotta figure out some way to turn it into a chain. Please don't put it in there. Okay, thank you. Oh wait, that's not- oh no, that's fine, never mind. We're good. God, the noises this game makes are so good. Well, this character's got the really sedated voice pack. Oh, 
please give me a green. Thank you. No, this is offline. Oh, why did I switch to that? I don't know if anybody else is playing it online or if it's just that one guy. And I should probably, after this, get back to writing. Gotta get my specifics aim or specific aims page done. And I know what the aims are, I just have to write it. Make it not word salad. And that'll help put the rest of the thing together. Uh, is that a dumb thing to do? No. Well, eh. That's eh, fine. to have this grant done, if only so I could stop talking about it. Oh, I didn't mean to pop that. That was an accidental pop. <laughs> oh, existence is suffering. Why can't they just hook me up to the Matrix so I can play this game specifically with my brain? Not have to worry about using my ham hands to control it. Definitely the weakest link in the whole system. Well, that seems bad for that guy. It's <laughs> a really long whimper. Kind of like unnecessarily long. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I don't know. I found out that uh, I still have America's Army 2.5, the private server, installed on this computer. And not only that, but it remembered all my login credentials as well. So at some point, I'll play that again with like the five other people who seem to be populating that server. What was I doing with this? I think that or something. I think it was greens. Can I have a green? No. No. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, 
that doesn't fit. I'll throw it somewhere. I don't care. Chat, what do you do today? The highlight of my day so far was finding a random ladybug that got its way inside and then was crawling around on my lemon tree. I watched that for like five minutes. My life is an Animal Crossing character. There was a point when I first moved here and got a bunch of houseplants that I was really seriously debating getting a bunch of, like, butterfly chrysalises on Amazon and then just letting them free in the apartment. Like the world's crappiest botanical garden. I didn't do it because I'm pretty sure they'd all immediately die. But it seemed kind of whimsical. Went out to a calm meeting. I feel like every time I ask what you're doing, it's always something along those lines. I don't say that to be judgmental either. I mean, if anything, I'm just envious. Oh god damn it, I'm so bad at this garbage video game. Ah. Uh, what were you drawing? Rosa. Take that. Take my beans. training retreats. There's another, like, Harvard dinner coming up, which I guess I have to sign up for. But I think they also want me to present research at it, and I don't have anything put together yet. So I kind of don't want to. But I'll just, like, set my research poster up and then just find an excuse to spend 45 minutes in the bathroom. Sorry, I will not be taking questions. Became a menace or a Nazi for work artist in the last four years. Truthfully, I think the only thing I ever remember you drawing was porn. So that checks out. How's that lifestyle? How many millions of dollars do you earn from doing that? It was the one where you drew, like, my dumpy little stick figure character on, like, a photorealistic woman's body. something.
Ah, Tetris. Oh no! That's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Yes. Get him! Oh, they're the same piece. Oh no. Oh, that whole thing is the worst thing ever. Okay. Uh... That's fine. It's fine. If it's any consolation, you probably make more money than I do doing brain research. And arguably, your job is probably more important. Oh, how did it all get so bad? What am I doing here? Part again. I just wish I went into a field where I didn't have to constantly beg for money every few years. No, the AIs learned how to play. Please don't do that to me. I have low self-esteem. Isn't that all academia? Yeah! I didn't mean to end up here, I just did it because someone said, Hey, what if you worked for us? And I said, I have no other ideas. That sounds great. And then I did. And I still haven't had any other ideas, so I keep doing it. God! I don't like that the AIs learned how to play. Oh, I just kill these dudes. Oh, that was a bad mistake. I gotta get so many reds in there. No, no. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Go. chat while playing this. No, no, no. Yes, pop it. Go, 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 go! Oh, 
Okay, that's fine. That'll pop two other layers. Uh, yeah. Wait. No. Uh, eh, that was kind of bad. That, 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 not that, not that, 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 that. Oh no. I want the bomb to go off. Okay, now fill in that green hole. game that's a Puyo ripoff? Is there? I can't remember that. I was at a friend's house playing whatever the Mario Party re-release is called, and I can't believe... I can't believe they didn't put Western World in it for Mario Party 2. What are you doing? It's on the cover! I want to have a hoot nanny with Mario. It's the only thing I've ever wanted. God, did anybody play Mario Party Advance? A game which you've all forgotten about until I brought it up right now. God damn it. It's bad. It seemed bad. Or like Mario Party DS. They should have a re-release of Sonic Shuffle. Not because it's good, but because it's really bad. At least, like, graphically it was always kind of interesting when I saw it running in the game section of, uh, Toys R Us. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, that's actually really bad. What do I have to do? I have to clear the blues out. Okay. Okay. It's not that anymore. I fixed it. I gotta put a blue on that. And then pop it. Uh... Yeah, let's just play Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Let's get a Game Boy printer, and do the fortune-telling minigame, and print out every single fortune we get. I don't know where you get the thermal paper for it, but... 
come over to my apartment and we'll do that. It'll be the most fun anyone has ever had with a glorified receipt printer. God. All those little peripherals were always so expensive, and not even for the actual peripheral part, but just the consumable bits. It's like the Dreamcast VMU and how it always went through all those really expensive watch batteries. But there was no other way to play Chow Adventure 2. Which means there was no other way you could rename your Chow or get it, like, any of the fruits that were all locked behind your ability to convince your parents to go to GameStop and or CVS and buy those watch batteries for the thing. Oh, it's going bad again. I wish Nintendo programmed Nintendo dogs in order to let your dog die after a certain period of time. So, like, right about now, there would be this, like, massive die off of every Nintendo dog. They all reached, like, 18 years old or something. Great Nintendogs Cataclysm of 2024. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, in fact, Nintendo should have made it so if you have your Nintendo dogs alive and it turns Y2K, then they die. As like an Easter egg. If you intentionally set your system clock back. Ten dogs are not backwards compatible with Y2K. Do I want all the Neopets to die? I mean, now that you bring it up... Kinda, yeah. I mean, the average Neopet at this point has got to be, like, 18 years old. Just more and more Neopets aging out of Neopia, or whatever it was. No new Neopets being formed. Neopets on the blockchain. on and then realized I'm right before the one level that I constantly lose at and now that I'm aware of that fact I'm going to get crushed. Mm -hmm. 
Subconsciously ruined it. Uh, I don't know. What was I doing with this? Was it that? Yes. No. A. Kill him. I can't believe when they localized this game, they were really cowards when they localized Satan's name into just Dark Prince. It was so much better as Satan. I like the idea of, like, one of the two major biblical forces being really good at Puyo Puyo for some reason. Also, I'm really bad at talking today. God damn it, man! Oh, that's gonna ruin it. That's ruined the whole thing. Just kidding. We're fine. Did he spun it? I don't know what that means. As long as I'm ignorant of the things that I could be doing better, then I never feel like a disappointment. Which is why it's important to never go on the internet and find someone doing something better than you. In fact, you'll find it's very mentally healthy to be a legend in your own mind. I only played Puyo growing up. I didn't grow up with Tetris. I grew up with Dr. Robotnik's mean bean machine. The fix was in. I was never going to be good at Tetris. Get him! What do I do with this? I don't know. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I really don't like that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! What happened? 
It's a new high score. At least. I don't understand... Is he just wearing, like... Suspenders? Like... Waders? And like Mega Man armored arm pieces? He's got a really good voice in the English version. At least. Activity? Sonic Boom 678's online? I don't know who that is. I don't know when I added this dude. Or why his activity is from the day after Christmas three years ago. <laughs> About me. I am a person. <laughs> I don't think the messaging works anymore. Hello, this is me. No, I am a person. Two. Photo enclosed <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's still broken. <laughs> Spent like four whole minutes typing that message out. I just wanted him to see the real me. Why do I have so many of these images? I don't know. I needed background content for my Vita. Where is it? Photos. It's food use Bob. Wow. Classic. Can I have the Bob cube? Whoa. <laughs> it's the best thing about the photo viewer on this. It's like IMAX food use Bob. Vita a good handheld? Yes. In fact, you may say it was the best handheld. Look at this great Vita content. Bob's thinking about a Vita right now. And also the random bit of mayonnaise made out of like seven pixels on his cheek. Somebody texted me, how's my night, and I'm just going to take a picture of my screen with Bob on it and then send it. That's my night. Oh, they sent me a picture of their cat, and I responded with a picture of Food Use Bob. <laughs> it's the 
just the metaverse. <laughs> Might as well be. Oh, I have so many pictures of him. They're all so low res. <laughs> Homer Simpson sleeps in an oxygen tent, which he believes gives him sexual powers. I'm gonna do one more round of Spelunky. What's my fascination with this guy? I don't know! He's just like... The polar opposite of me on every possible factor you can come up with. I wonder if anyone else is still online in the Vita Puyo. Or if that one dude logged off. When is the daily challenge reset? Oh, I guess it just did. No, I just treat YouTube like a human zoo. Just want to explore the human condition. All possible life paths a person can take. game. Oops. Has he made any new videos recently? God, every time. So bad at killing those bats. Wouldn't I be the most likely person to know that? I'm not actually subscribed to him. Like every now and then I just get a tingling sensation in my stomach, which tells me to check on if there's any new food use content. But it's purely just a gut feeling. He subbed to all of his channels. How many are there? I think I'm subscribed to Food Lime. But that's it. Does he have a new channel for his record thing? Oh, I forgot about his tech review channel! What happened to Masao? I think he still makes videos. Every now and then I see him pop up. God, those Masao videos are so good if you just are like showing them to somebody who has no idea what's coming. Like when he cooks the steak on his toilet. On a big pile of toilet paper. Hello. Welcome to me, procrastinating the stream, part two. 
out of infinity. Am I in my ambient yet? No. It arrives tomorrow. I guess we'll see. I mean, I can't imagine it's going to be any different, really, than Lunesta. Except the reviews for it on um, drugs.com are marginally better than Lunesta for whatever reason. I don't know how the pharmacology between the two is different, but they're generally doing the same thing. a bunch of really bizarre nightmares yesterday. I had to like fake my death in the current time period we're in. And initially I did that by crashing a jet that I was apparently flying somewhere in some secluded area. But then somebody found it so I had to do it again in an even more secluded area. And at some point, it then involved me going back to like the early 90s and being a really successful, like, wonderkind uh, software developer who was also like living a double identity that I had to keep secret from everyone. And also, I still had a smartphone that was connected to like 2024 cellular networks. And also the Iranian government kept trying to kidnap me to make, like, computer-guided missiles or something. It was very stressful, even though I made a lot of money in that dream. Spent a lot of time in a Windows 95 computer. Good. I love video games. Do I ever have dreams within dreams? Not recently. I've been getting a lot of those dreams where my mouth keeps like forcing itself closed and I have no other thing or no other way to like keep it open other than sticking my finger between my teeth because my teeth will stick together like Velcro if I don't do that. I really hate those dreams. And yet they keep happening. And God knows what you're supposed to do if you have like, recurring tooth dreams. I guess I should just take all my teeth out as a precaution. Sounds like interesting mouth dreams. Yeah, it's all because of that album. If Neil Cicerega never came up with mouth dreams, I would have no problem. What if all those tooth dreams are real, and your teeth are actually falling out while you're asleep, but then you end up swallowing them before you wake up and also then regrowing a whole new set of teeth so you really have no idea anything happened? I mean, you can't prove that's not happening. How much are the climbing gloves? 8,000? Eh. Eh, maybe we can get that. 
actually. You can write on your teeth. I'd ask you to elaborate on that, but I kind of don't want to know. Probably could get the idol, actually. Oh, I don't have the climbing gloves, though. I thought I did. Oh, wait! No, that's gonna aggro the shopkeeper! Oops. Oh, no! Dams will go. Uh, I've had Spelunky on this Vita at least since like 2013. I remember playing a bunch of this while waiting for uh, Organic Chemistry Lecture 2 to start. Oh, I got this man for free now. Just not miss. Okay. <laughs> I've never actually beaten it, though. What? Oh, I've never had this happen. Oh, I hate it. What do I... <laughs> what do I do? Oh, you gotta carry it? Oh, it's like I'm playing Knuckles Chaotix. God damn it. I was gonna get it, no! <laughs> I've never had that happen to me. This reminds me of the summer I spent with my wife. Sorry, not to laugh at that, but also what? Oh! I get it. I think. Is this a ball and chain wife bad joke? For a while I was like, oh, I guess you played a lot of Spelunky together. I guess was not the joke. It was not even a joke. much money. You haven't got enough money. And 
now I have. I think. Was it 12,000? Yes. Is the simple trick shooting the shopkeeper in the face? Also, that person that I sent the picture of Robert Food Use did not respond. Which I guess is fair. I wouldn't respond to that either. Do I think it actually sent? Oh no, I mean I sent a picture of it to somebody on my phone. They asked me how my day was going. So I text them Robert Food Use as my Vita background. They have not responded. Like, bad news. I do exactly the same stuff on stream as I do to people that I know in real life. Oh wait, I gotta close this curtain. So the light doesn't bother my neighbors. Oh, I don't have enough money to go gambling. I'm not gonna get the shotgun. Oh, I'm playing this on the Vita. Oh, that was your account? I feel like I knew that deep down, and since forgot about it. Oops. Oh no! Okay. Did not mean to throw that bomb. You can just get one, like good news. They seem to be selling for roughly the same $150 that I paid for mine back in like 2013. Here you go. Yeah, that's why I never soft modded mine. I'm afraid to, like, lose access to the remaining few Vita online services that still work. I'm riding this thing out until the end. No, the shop still works. You just have to, like, add money with your credit card through a web browser. You can't do any of it, like, independently on the Vita anymore. But once you have the credits loaded, you can just use the shop as normal. It's kind of bizarre and really unintuitive. to it.
Uh. Oops. What do you mean there's PSP Minecraft? There's Vita Minecraft. Oh, hey. <laughs> With Steve and Cuban Steve. The only Steves. I don't know, I'm doing whatever. I have a lot of writing I have to get done. Academia never ends, but at least I have a PhD now. But I don't think they ever had a version of Minecraft on the PSP. Just the really crummy Vita version. Because they didn't have it on the 3DS either, except like the one specifically for the new 3DS. Yeah, sure, I'll write you a letter of recommendation. Oh no, I'm out of bombs! chat. I've watched Anwa's growth into a fine chatter. Uses emotes tastefully and sparingly. Oh god. It's so slippery. Is that the exit? Okay. How many hearts do I have? Seven. Oh, I gotta get those boxes! No, I don't want more ropes. No, well, okay. I guess the cape and the climbing gloves are probably a good combination. I think I am getting better at Spelunky, though. a little bit. Hope there's nothing down here. Ugh. Uh. Well, I'm not getting that. I guess... Where's the exit? Other side? Yeah, here it is. It's going great. I just have to not immediately die when I get to level 4.
Nope. Not what I wanted. Exit. Okay. What else does he need? I know last time he asked for the shotgun. I don't know if he's got the same progression of items that he asks for, or if it's just random. Oh, what do I do? Can I jump on him? What's that do? Okay, so it's a thwomp. Oh, there's so much stuff. I wish I had bombs. What do I do about that? Oh god, it goes sideways! Uh, no, 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 no. Is that the exit? Okay. Yeah, the levels are randomized. Like, the general progression isn't, but the levels themselves are. thing is. Did this shoot? No. Huh. Okay. Okay. great. This is, I think, the farthest I've ever been. I wish I had bombs, though. Oh, no! It's not going great. That is some chunky looking lava. Well, that was maybe one of the more productive 12 minutes I've spent in my life. So wait, I have a question and I probably could have Googled this and found the answer out like years ago, but if I wanted to get the other tunnel man, Shortcut, slash shortcuts, plural. Could I take a shortcut to this level, and then finish it, and then give him more items, or do I have to start from the very beginning? He's gonna want the key from the mines. I don't know what that means. Wait, do you have to get an item from the mines and bring it all the way to that last area for him? No, but like actually, that's not what they expect you to do. That would be crazy. Right? Really?
but like not actually. I guess I'll have to find out. It took me like five years to unlock this other shortcut at the rate I've been playing. I'll have them all by 2049. Just gonna forget how to dig, that's okay. I'm trying to get him in the thing, in the little crevice. There we go. God, look at the little penguin, it's so stumpy. Anyway, I should probably go back to making myself write stuff, because I haven't been productive enough today. Okay, bye. Thanks for hanging out.